Alan. Hello, Alan. Yeah. Hi, this is Bill Hernandez, editor with rockbandreviews.com. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Wonderful, wonderful. You're calling about the Florida shows, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, cool. Well, we're certainly looking forward to seeing you um, this Thursday at the Broward Center for the Performing Arts. Uh, very excited to have you in town. You're, you're in Fort Lauderdale yourself, are you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. But I'm from California, which is where you make your home these days, correct? That's right. Which part of California? Uh, Santa Monica. All right. I tell you, um, I was looking at a video of your home that sits atop... Uh, the mountain there uh, and the new studio that's being built and such. I'm, I'm in awe. That's such a beautiful property you have there. Oh, thank you. It's, uh, yeah, we love it. How is the new studio coming along? It's done. It's, um, it's completely, uh, completely finished now. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, I mean, other than uh, hanging a few pictures on the wall and things like that in the, uh, the non-studio areas, but uh, yeah. I tell you, you know, doing research on you, um, I mean, you come from an amazing entertainment background. I mean, it looks uh, like nearly everyone in your family, from your grandfather to your mother, father, cousin, and uncle were involved in the entertainment business in some way, shape, or form. I mean, it's, it's in your blood, and it seems that you were destined to be in this business. I suppose so. <laughs> yes, I mean... Uh... Um, if it hadn't been uh, music, it might have been acting, and if it hadn't been acting, it would have been, uh, I don't know, uh, some other branch of entertainment. I don't mm. know. Now, now is I, it... uh, I, I think I, when I was at school, I fancied being a TV cameraman. Oh, that, that's, uh, pretty good. that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, as a young boy, uh, who were some of the bands or artists that you listened to that inspired you musically? Well, uh, I mean, before I actually started work in the industry, I don't think it must have been, you know, the likes of Buddy Holly and uh, Cliff Richard, of course, was, was very big in the UK yeah. uh, as I was growing up. Uh, and he was, the, he was, you know, kind of bigger than Elvis in the UK, kind, <laughs> kind of thing. So, so I, I was very keen on him and his band, The Shadows. Uh, but, but, you know, I was, I was hearing all the, all the American stuff that was uh, going on. I'm talking pre Motown now, talking about uh, Buddy Holly and um, Chuck Berry and uh, people like that. Hmm. Yeah. Now, you, now you, 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 you play a number of instruments. Uh, as a musician, are you self taught? I am self taught and I play everything badly. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I wouldn't, well I wouldn't recognize that from, uh, <laughs> from your career. No, I, I just play adequately for, you know, as, a, as a rhythm guitarist and as a an occasional keyboard part here and there, but, uh, mm. you know, I, I, I recognize that uh, I surround myself with uh, with virtuoso mu musicians so, so much more talented than I am, <laughs> but um, that doesn't mean to say that I can't write a song or two, you know, I'm, I'm still, a, I, I still feel I can write a good song. Yeah. Now, your, now your, your, your voice your is voice also your voice instrument. Voice. Uh, what do you do, if anything, to maintain your vocals while you're on tour? Um, what do I do about vocals? You say? Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, with the, the, thankfully, the every 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 single one of the band uh, sings, mm -hmm. um, so we have a, a huge number of uh, textures we can uh, we can go through for the, you know t just like we did on the albums. In fact, yeah. I mean that was the that was the Alan Parsons Project t trademark that uh, you would have different singers on on different tracks, you know, and that that extends to the to the live shows too. Mm. Now, Eye in the now, Sky is now I celebrating 35 years since its release in uh, 1982. Uh, what's, interesting uh, what's interesting about this about song is that um, uh, as, as time, time and technology, technology has progressed, the lyrics have become even more relevant in the world today. I suppose they have. Um, we do live in a, in a world full of security cameras, and uh, you know, we're never, we're never uh, completely on our own. We're never alone. There's always somebody watching. Exactly. exactly. Now, when it comes now, to it songwriting, comes to producing, uh, or touring, what is it that gives you the most satisfaction? I, I think um, I'm still, I still feel more at home in the studio than anywhere else. Yeah. Uh, you know, just just, uh, just having a band there and, and uh, going through songs and going through arrangements and 
getting it onto um, I was going to say getting it onto, onto tape, but it's getting it onto the disc now. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's, it, it's just just that process still uh, keeps me very absorbed and happy. Mm. Um, but having said that, you know, there, there's the, 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 there's the instant gratification you get from being on a live stage. Yeah. 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 True. It, true. Uh, now, when you were 19, yeah, you, were 19 you, you took a job at Abbey Road Abbey Studios. Road Studios. Um, what was that what job was that, that you first had there? had there? Well, I I knew I was training to be uh, to be a, a, a button pusher, as they called it those days. Yeah. Um, but uh, I started in the in the tape library, which was a, a, I think a very good uh, piece of ground training because uh, the logging of tapes uh, was in, and still is incredibly important. Um, so I got to know uh, how to do that, and uh, I fetched and carried around the studio. And, uh, then they would, uh, after a few weeks, they just let me sit in on sessions and, and learn learn how to be a tape op, essentially. Yeah. So basically, yeah, so basically you just you learned just producing and engineering, engineering by watching by others work on the board. On the board. That's right. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful, wonderful. Nothing wonderful. like hands-on That's experience, like I, tell you. I tell you. That's right, and uh, <laughs> it's almost impossible to learn these days. Because uh, you know everything, everything's on a video screen, and uh, you know happens too quickly to follow. You know? mm. I mean, I watch, I watch my assistant at work with with uh, the computer, and I, I just can't keep up. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> so old I'm school, still a, right? I'm still an old school engineer in that respect. I, I, I've always worked with an assistant. You know, I, I always work in the old days. I worked with a tape operator, so mm. um, um, and now I continue that with with uh, having a computer operator. Mm. Now, finally, what is next for you personally and uh, for the Alan Parsons project? Anything new coming up, new album, anything like that? The, the Alan Parsons project is the, theoretically is defunct. We, we, we play live as the Alan Parsons live project. Mm-hmm. And um, I am currently making an album under my own name, just Alan Parsons, um, that will be completed hopefully September, October and uh, should be released in the early part of next year. Um, and that's, that's you know, one of the main motivations for building the studio. I, I, I wanted to, to do it uh, in a place which I felt I was in, in complete control of. 